Welcome to part two of my layers tutorial. In this installment, we're going to have a look at the difference between switching a layer off or freezing it. And there's a lot of confusion around these two, mainly because essentially they do exactly the same thing. They make a layer invisible. And people are often not sure whether to use freezing a layer or switching a layer off to control visibility. I've got two examples here that will hopefully be helpful. The first one is a rectangle which has been drawn on layer 0 and inside that rectangle is a hatch pattern which has been placed onto a hatch layer. To start off with what I'm going to do is switch off the hatch layer. I'm now going to move the boundary and then switch that layer back on. And you'll see that the hatch has moved along with its boundary even though it was invisible at the time of the moving. Let's try freezing. So the hatch is now frozen off. I'll move the boundary and thaw the layer. And this time, the hatch has been left behind. Now this outlines the main difference between switching a layer off and freezing a layer. Switching a layer off makes it invisible, but AutoCAD will still consider that information. Freezing a layer off puts it into the deepest possible level of invisibility, as far as AutoCAD is concerned. And in the case of hatch, as you've seen there, it will ignore it completely. And even though an associated boundary gets moved, the hatch will get left behind. Here's the second example. It's a car which has been drawn. You can see all the elements are on layer 0. And I'm going to turn that into a block. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is place the wheels onto a wheels layer which I've created. Use match properties. It's a very useful layer tool. and at this point create my block I'm also going to create a new layer called cars place that entire block onto the cars layer. The first thing you notice is that all the elements that were on layer 0 have adopted the color of the cars layer. The wheels though have stayed green because they were placed on the green wheels layer before that. So let's have a look and see how this block behaves using on and off and freeze and thaw. We're going to have a look at the cars layer itself. Now if I switch off the cars layer, only the car disappears but the wheels remain. If I freeze off the cars layer, the entire car vanishes including the wheels. So that's the difference when it comes to blocks. If you have elements within a block, which are on a specific layer, switching that layer off will have a different effect to freezing. Freezing is more powerful and will switch off the entire block. Now another very useful layer tool is this one here which is called Layer Isolate. Now this is on a toolbar called Layers 2 if you're working on the classic layout, if you're working on the ribbon layout, you'll find the isolate tool on the layers panel. By clicking on layer isolate, I'm going to choose one of these beams as an example and then enter. You can see it's done as we expected, it's isolated that layer. Now the way it achieves that is by switching off all of the light bulbs except for the layer that we selected. 
just next to isolate I have an unisolate button and you can see all it does is switches the light bulbs back on again so there's another purpose for your on and off it is used as part of the layer isolate command so I hope that's helpful in helping you to make a decision as to whether you either switch a layer off or use freeze